Hey guys, so welcome to video 16 of Get to Know Your Body's Aches and Pains. Today I'm going to give you some symptoms involving some nerve pain or weakness that involves the arms. So again, it kind of starts with the brachial plexus where there's a bunch of nerves that run down the arm, a certain pattern. I'm just going to give you a few common ones because it's a lot to digest. So the radial nerve would go from the brachial plexus going past the deltoids here and it goes all the way wraps around the elbow and then goes into the thumb okay it kind of hits here then there's the ulnar nerve so the ulnar nerve goes all the way up the back of the arm so in the triceps runs down around the elbow hits the pinky and then the median nerve goes down here and hits the middle fingers so if you're experiencing any kind of sensation where you have tingling, numbness, um, pain, nerve pain, so it's like in the fingers or it could be anywhere in the arm, um, those are the symptoms you may experience. Now what I wanted to go more in detail about is um, it's kind of referred to as double crush syndrome. Uh, it could also be mistaken for carpal tunnel sometimes. So basically I'm going to break it down. I always talk about trigger points. Trigger points, when they're formed in different locations, they can compress either the, the veins, arteries, or the nerves, or it could, you know, um, stop a muscle movement. So it stops a, a motion of a movement of a joint, for example, in the shoulder. So I'm going to give you an example of double crush syndrome and how you would have a symptom of that with the radial nerve. So again, as I said, the radial nerve goes into the deltoid around here and in here. So if you have pain, numbness, or just weakness of moving uh, this area here, or in the arm, then there would have to be a, a compression of um, the nerve from a trigger point around this area. So it would be anywhere above it. If there is weakness in this area, it would be above it. If you are having any kind of nerve pain weakness in the upper arm and goes all the way down, then it would move up. So we would be checking the deltoids here. So I'd be checking now in these two areas. So if now this whole arm is affected, I would ch check for trigger points in the deltoids, trigger points in the forearm. Now that's double crush syndrome. Again, because it's c coming from the brachial plexus area, it's originating from here. So it could also start from here. So we would be checking also, so if the pain is now coming from this area or from the neck, so if there's already numbness weakness of the shoulder, of the arm going down. We have to take a look at trigger points compressing up here in the shoulder, in the deltoid, down the arm. That's just an example for the radial nerve. There's other examples that we'd find out for the other nerves that are happening, but I'm not gonna get into that. I'm just gonna show you an example of one so that way you can understand what um, that type of symptom would be. If it was in two different locations, it may be considered double crush syn uh, syndrome. So that's trigger points compressing a nerve along the pathway in two different areas. If you have any questions that you want details about, if you're experiencing any kind of these symptoms or if you know somebody who has, then just private message me, let me know, or people who have my private uh, contacts, give me a call, shoot me a text. Until next time, peace out.